to deal with YouTube. The Bible is a nigga book. It's made for niggas. When you look at it, the word nigga is in the book of Acts. But when you look at something very important, the man that you ignorantly called Jesus Christ was a criminal. We like to stereotype and we say that the so-called black males today and Negro people who go to jail. Well, that's the same mentality and behavior Christ had. He had the same radical behavior that the, that the so-called struggling black male today had. Same thing with Paul. A lot of these men went to prison. They were niggas, man. And when Christ comes back to rule, that'll be the time when the stone and the so-called quote-unquote cursed black man will rule the earth for those a thousand years. So, I mean, if you don't like the color black, you might as well get used to it because that's the true color of the Israelites. Um, You know, what's amazing, when you study these guys and their lives, you'll find that they were murderers. They were warlords. These were some pretty, I mean, mentally fucked up people. They didn't play no games. Even the most beautiful men like King David, he was a man of war. These men killed. They were cutthroat people. I don't have to take you, you know, I mean, you can read it for yourself. Read all through the scriptures. These were some wild-headed ass people. These people didn't play around. The Israelites were some motherfucking murderers. Moses I mean, look at him. Paul even said in his epistle letters or in the translation that he punished the people who believed on Christ daily in the temples. These were some wild-headed ass people. And Christianity to try to give you that they were Caucasian and that they had, oh, soft-loving behavior. But their behavior was radical. It was, it was radical. And the man you called Christ, his behavior was radical. Because he was an Israelite. So these motherfuckers was wild. These were some wild-headed, in, in the scriptures say he was a lion of Judah. You said, why are the motherfuckers? And this is why I say, like, the Bible is a nigga book. So you might as well get used to it. And that's the sad truth of it. Hell, Adolf Hitler took care of uh, supporting niggas more than what the people here in America. And what has happened to the Negro is that we have, we have lost knowledge of ourselves. We've, sought, we've lost the ability to research and to read. When we begin to research and get the truth about history and historical figures, we, see, we will see a different side. That we've been brainwashed because our history books here in North America and just one of America's uh, policies is based upon white supremacy. And that's a fact. And Farrakhan was so right in that. But the sad truth is that the Negro is God's creation. Most sacred and important creation. Hitler knew that. Even in his own words, he said that the Jews were black. He knew it. So it's just even the Aryans go back to Egypt. Niggas. So I say it's a lot of stuff that has been taken because our identity and have been taken away because we don't like to read. And there's other things that have to be fixed, too. That's why it goes back to what I said. That blacks have to take responsibility for their action because they have to once they realize that they are the true children of Israel, they have to come to the conclusion that it was their color skin of people and my color skin people who crucified Christ. We killed our own Messiah. So it, it led us to be cursed because we disobeyed the most high. We was doing everything in, in, under the sun as Israelites, sucking each other off, you name it. We was doing it. We were perverted people, and we were punished over and over. So we know that the Bible is a nigga book. And like I said, guys, uh, when I get time, I'll begin my series on the Bible. It was taken from pagan traditions, and we'll be getting to that soon. So that's all for this video. I'm out. Fuck you, game. Tuning to your channel sucks. Peace.